video tutorials on SEL Trados and today we're going to be taking a look at alignment. Alignment is a process through which we can recycle former translations that were not, and I stress that, were not made inside SEL Trados Studio but they were just uh, overwritten on a Word file for example or many other files actually, Excel, PowerPoint, HTML, XML. So it's quite easy actually. What we do is we open SEL Trados Studio. Then in the home section of the navigation pane you will find Align Translated Documents. You click there new project, you choose your source language, English is OK, you choose your target language, Spanish is OK, you write a name for, type a name for that project. Now this is important, you have to make a difference between the product of alignment which would be an, uh, normally a TMX translation memory which then you can in turn import into SEL Trados Studio or um, and sorry the, pro the actual project file the project file containing the alignment is totally different to the product which is an export okay so you do want to write a name here test now we go to files add and you choose your source text then again add target text, align names. So in case there's more than one file, then uh, maybe na align names will fail. So you can just right click, disconnect, and then you can just drag and connect. OK? In this case, it's all right. It's the only file. As for the rest of these uh, areas, there's no need for you to do any further configuration normally and I would write my name here created by and then don't forget to choose TMX okay this is what you're gonna be needing if you want to add this translation memory created from the alignment to a SEL Trados Studio translation memory whether, whether it is inside your computer or on a server so bear that in mind and don't forget it. And then you click OK. So now I just double click either of the files. Computer takes a little time. And completes the alignment. And then you just see it. So let's maximize this. So then you can start checking. If it's all right, then you can either um, confirm selected units, all units, or up to the unit you're working in. You keep going, you see that two segments here were associated with the set third one. <clears throat> so it's fine. So normally, if you translated this and both documents have roughly the same formatting, then you won't have a problem. See, when you get used to this, you learn to very, very quickly scan through the document and detect if there's any difference. For example, maybe if you see that two segments are paired with one on, the, on either side, Okay, 
it seems it's all right here so I keep going down I can confirm up to the unit I'm working with confirm up to the active unit so we're fine now you could actually make any changes if you want to make changes you can just double click the segment you can make changes either on the left or the right source or target so that's pretty important here we go yes or no now I see discrepancy here which is this one so let's disconnect this with a right click and then we select both and we click on there you go we've we made these two segments one and then we connect them again so now we're fine so it seems that the rest the rest is quite alright um, confirm Okay, seems like everything's working. Alrighty, so alignment, mark is finished. And finally, what we have to do is create, export the translation pair, the alignment pair, and it will create a TMX file wherever we want to create the TMX file. And uh, on the next video, we'll tell you how to import that into a translation memory. Thank you.